Welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. Today I would like to start this video off with an announcement. You know that I post two times a week on my YouTube channel and I made a decision to scale it down to one video a week. It's going to be Thursdays and there's a reason for it. Instead of pumping out all this content constantly, I want to create something beautiful once a week, something very detailed, something very staged and looking beautiful. So from that uh, setup that I create once a week, you can grab a lot more ideas and a lot more inspiration. So hopefully you won't be disappointed because I do have lots and lots of more ideas that I want to share with you. So every single week, I will see you here on Thursdays. Today I will be working with balloons that I should have worked with this past weekend. This past weekend my daughter turned seven years old and she wanted something ice cream related. I searched it up, I did my research and I stopped on this unusual color palette for ice cream themed balloon garlands. Usually when you think about um, ice cream, usually I would think, I would think about pastel colors. I don't know why, but this is how it is. So this is very unusual. This is very bright, very interesting color combination. And let me tell you, these balloons I bought from so many websites because I couldn't find the amount of balloons and sizes of the balloons on one website. They were all sold out. So I had to search them everywhere and pull them out out of different websites. I got them, they were sitting here for quite a while, finally I am getting to them. For her birthday, I was physically exhausted because I had to rush my husband to emergency. He was admitted to the hospital and now he's totally good, he's fine, he's healthy, uh, God's mercy was on him and I am so happy that uh, everything is good so we spent a whole bunch of time in the hospital and as i said i was physically exhausted i just didn't have time and we celebrated her birthday with everything that i had around the house like balloon related this is the room that i will be working in today i am creating something beautiful here i am creating something beautiful there and everywhere and everything will be linked and listed in the description under this video I'm extremely excited to spend more time on my setups and inspire you even more all right you guys without any further ado let's go these are the colors that i am planning to use today unusual color palette for ice cream setups let's start with this side i have vitalitics here deluxe fuchsia deluxe raspberry in different sizes 5 11 18 and i am guessing 24. moving on to tuftics yellow toned mustard and yellow balloons 5 17 24 11 inch balloons and one more color from Tuftix. This is blush 5, 11, 17, and 24 as well. Super excited to see what I can create with these. Time to inflate our balloons. It's going to be a long process. I have a lot of balloons to inflate in different colors. I am using my electric balloon pump, but this is Zoom, and I will link it in the description under this video. I am starting with a deluxe fuchsia, it doesn't matter which color you start with. I am starting with this one, I am grabbing two 11 inch balloons and inflating them at the same time, preferably into different sizes. Something like this, this one's a little bit bigger, this one's a little bit smaller. Next step is absolutely optional, if you don't mind the elongated look of balloons, then skip this step. If you want your balloons to be on a rounder side, then press your balloons against your table, yourself, floor, to give your balloons more rounder shape. Then we are taking our balloons and we are tying them together into a pair. I am tying my balloons pretty close together because I would need these necks of balloons later on. I will be using them for construction of my balloon garland or garlands. So that's basically all you will be doing. I will be uh, mixing my 11 inch balloons with my 18 inch balloons or 17 inch balloons just to give my balloon garland more volume, more variety of balloons. I'm 
done inflating my deluxe of fuchsia color. Now we need to grab our pairs of balloons and cluster them. I will be using three clusters in my clusters of balloons because I don't want to make my clusters balloons way too big. If you're looking for a bigger cluster, you can definitely use four pairs of balloons in your clusters. Today I am going with three. So I'm grabbing two different pairs of balloons and starting to interline everything together nice and tight, grabbing another pair of balloons and adding in and interwining everything nice and tight together, making sure that nothing is going to pop out and go places into something like this. look how pretty these colors look together i am loving it we have two more colors to go let's go so now let's construct our balloon garland i am grabbing my first cluster grabbing second cluster reaching in and finding those long and stretchy necks right here doing exactly the same thing with my other cluster grabbing two necks and tying those two necks together this will hold our balloon garland and this will construct our balloon garland this technique will involve some finger strength you'll get used to it the more you use this technique the faster you will get used to it. So once you tie the necks of balloons together, this garland will be nice and tight. So keep on tying until you'll be happy with the size of your balloon garland. my balloon garland to my wall i am using half a pound command hooks with adjustable hooks the reason is very simple because whenever you are hooking on the string on your hook hook moves with the string and not letting the string slip off the hook and go places with just a regular hook solid hook you can hook on your string and string can slip out so this is why i started using adjustable command hooks love these guys they will be linked in the description under this video necks of balloons like usual so i am grabbing a neck from my quad and looking for the neck somewhere on the spot where i want to attach it and tie those necks together you can absolutely use rubber bands you can use um, 260s or glue dots glue dashes whatever works for you i am constructing everything or trying to construct everything with the necks of balloons a rubber band for this cluster just because it's a little bit up high for me i can't tie the necks of balloons comfortable that high so i'm grabbing my rubber band looping over my balloon in my quad and then looking for a balloon where i can glue this rubber band around there we go and letting go and everything holds and nice and tight catch my 24 inch balloons at least uh, to try to attach uh, and see if 24 will work in my balloon garland i will be using a rubber band i am folding in half my rubber band and wrapping around the knot of my balloon then i am opening up one of the uh, ends of my rubber band and feeding the other end through it pulling on it tightening my rubber band around the knot and voila now i have this loop and i can go loop it over any of the balloons on my balloon garland amazon 
I bought these uh, ice cream foil balloons and of course I am using my foil inflator. Foil inflator came from Lord Del Paper and Balloon Company. I've reviewed this pump in my previous videos. I absolutely love this thing because it's only made for foil balloons and it's super gentle on your foil balloons. It's not going to rip the plastic you insert that every single foil self-sealing orbs balloon have. If you rip that little insert, then your balloons will start to deflate. This thing is extremely gentle and it has this backflow that will prevent your foil balloons being over inflated. As you know, if you will over inflate your balloon, it will pop. So let's inflate at least one to see how big are these balloons and if they will match everything that we have right there. <laughs> this pump comes with three other nozzles. So overall, it will have four nozzles for any balloon, to fit any balloon. So I am grabbing the skinniest one, inserting and inflating. Absolutely love these balloons. They are so adorable. Love how they look. And to attach my ice cream balloons, I will be using lots and lots of glue dashes. As you know, glue dashes and foil balloons, they're not the best friends and your foil balloons can fall off when you're using glue dashes on foil balloons. Just because foil balloons are super soft and glossy, uh, there's not enough um, grip for glue dashes to hold those balloons. So I will be trying to use lots and lots of glue dashes. I wish all of the balloons will start to have these ears that we have on sides of our uh, foil balloons right here, somewhere over here. So we can hook on our string and literally tie our foil balloons straight to the balloon garland. I wish companies, hey, this is an idea for you. step away from my balloon garland and print my template for my ice cream mosaic. So I went to Els Paper Boutique on Etsy right here and then scrolling down and as you can see she has a whole bunch of templates that you can choose from. These are the ones that I am looking for right now. I am going for this one. You obviously purchase it and then you get an email with um, uh, the template and you can print. I already uh, got my template so let me exit this out and as you can see as soon as you download that template you get four sizes of the template that you can print. Five, four, three and two feet. I am printing five feet and let's go catch our prints. I feel like my printer is out of ink. Uh, hopefully I will be able to piece this uh, mosaic together and uh, see the lines clearly. I need to assemble it on the floor and then tape every single paper together. I don't think I will be showing you the full tutorial on how I make uh, my mosaics. I will link a video where I made uh, uh, a mosaic and explained uh, more in detail in the description under this video, so go ahead and check it out. four foam boards on the floor. I use this Elmer's company foam boards. I got them at Walmart. I need to tape them together so they would not move and go places. I will lay my ice cream on top of these foam boards, trace it out. is traced out we need to cut it now i am using my cutting board bought it at walmart also got myself metal rulers because exacto knife easily catches on those plastic rulers and it can cut through your rulers and 
cut off pieces of the ruler and you will mess up your ruler and it will be such a mess. Then I got myself an X-Acto knife. Just get yourself a metal ruler, your X-Acto knife will slide nicely against this ruler and you'll have nice and great edges. Here's how I cut you guys. I love to have a really nice and smooth cuts. So I'm taking my metal ruler for straight lines. I am grabbing my X-Acto knife. Whenever I am starting to cut through, don't be afraid to apply lots and lots of pressure on your X-Acto knife. Try not to stop. Try to go with one continuous cut. You have that deep cut, you can go back and cut through that bottom paper on the other side and voila you guys look at this smooth cut i absolutely love it time to cut a whole bunch of strips these are three inch wide these will be our borders now i am starting to score my strips one inch apart why do I need to score my strips? Because this will help curve my strips against those curves of ice cream. Line your floors with something and start gluing pieces of your ice cream together by using low or hot temperature glue gun. Another tip that I wanna share with you. I've seen a lot of people making the same exact mistake gluing borders on top of the mosaic. Don't do that if you want really nice and sharp lines in your mosaics. You need to glue it on the outside of your main mosaic shapes. Working with blush from tough ticks because I started looking for blush from Qualitix. I do have 11 inch and I do want to add a five inch into my waffle portion as well because here in the corners, I would need to have smaller size balloons. I could have made smaller size balloons out of 11, but I noticed whenever I am making smaller size balloons out of 11 inch balloons, they don't last too long. So guys, I am not a big fan of uh, Tuftix blush, even though it's a beautiful, beautiful color. I love it, but I don't like that I inflate my blush balloon and there's this darker spot up top. I don't like it. Anyways, once I have my balloon tied, I am cutting the lip of the balloon and then using, using a low temperature glue gun, I am gluing my balloons down. is ready and it's looking beautiful absolutely love it i don't want to make another ice cream because i feel like it's going to be too many ice creams like here here on the other side uh, instead i want to grab some of the balloons and fill the corner with balloons and bring it somewhere over here like around the ice cream and i feel like it's going to look better than uh, making more ice creams my balloons I want to stop and quickly set up a table my brother and my sister-in-law brought me back to those days when I was a wedding decorator so I want to give you more ideas of what you can do for your parties beyond the balloons so here's what I'm working with today instead of buying a cake for every single setup that I will be doing for you guys I bought this foam and I want to spray paint and add flowers on top and this will serve me as a cake for my setup. So next thing I have, this is from Amazon, this is an ice cream truck, treat bags, some plates, cotton candy, these adorable buckets that I feel like I want to stuff the cotton candy inside and make it look as ice cream. And then I have these 
beautiful, beautiful looking marquise lighters. I hope I pronounced that right. They light up, so you put the batteries in, switch, and they will light up. Sugar cookies that I wanna add into this setup. The vase, and I want to put flowers in there. I want to cover this table just a tiny bit. I don't want to have a tablecloth, so instead I am grabbing my pink chiffon fabric and I want to place kind of like a runner and keep lawn ends at the bottom. without any gloves because it's it's a setup for me and for the house and uh, this is not for anybody else so don't panic if I would have been doing this for somebody else this would have been in gloves so yep Do you like it? It's beautiful. It's beautiful? I actually do like it, but I want a sugar cookie. <laughs> This is what I have for you guys today. This is my final balloon setup for you guys. I absolutely love what I see. I love the setup on my table, letters, ice cream, balloons, colors, so cute. I don't know how many balloons I used for this setup. I was blowing balloons until I was happy with the final result. I bought a bag of balloons in each size and in each color i also bought a little bit more of five inch balloons because i use my five inch for my balloon mosaic other than that one bag of each color in each size i will link and list everything in the description under this video i hope this video inspired you and i am so happy to share the other side of me as well this is it you guys this is what i have for you today i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful i hope it was inspiring i hope i gave you lots and lots of details and i explained everything very well if you liked this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up they always help you guys they always help share it with family and friends that's always helpful as well if you have any additional questions leave them in the comment section below i will try my best to help you out with anything if you're new here what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button down below for more videos and i hope all of you will have a wonderful day and i will see you back very soon bye